CMB is a cytomegalovirus. It is one of the common herpes virus. Cytomegalovirus is acquired generally in, in us very early in our childhood. And once you're infected with this virus, it actually stays in your body as a latent infection. It's very common. The symptoms vary from very mild to asymptomatic. Very rarely you will get very severe complications. In transplant patients, it causes havoc. Um, they can lead to severe complications like organ rejection and even death. If you have not been exposed to CMB and you acquire CMB infection during pregnancy, you have a very high risk of transmitting that viral infection to your unborn baby. Those babies who get this infection then have additional complications and these sort of symptoms could include hearing impairment and cerebral palsy is one of the clinical indications. But it's not, doesn't cause those complications to every child. I'd contracted CMB at some point during my pregnancy. The amniotic fluid was positive for CMB, which meant that there was a good chance that um, Azaria would be positive as well. When she was born, we confirmed that she was CMB positive. The, the impacts of CMB is hearing loss. Yeah, it was a very emotional time for us. It's pretty um, yeah, surprising that something that can cause so much damage to, to a fetus and to an unborn baby um, is so widely unknown. Organisations like Centre for Disease Control in US and various agencies in Australia have repeatedly tried to publicise the, the potential risk from this infection in pregnant women. The key is hygiene. If you've got little ones, don't share utensils, don't you know, share spoons, um, that sort of thing. Um, frequently washing hands. There have been a number of attempts made to design a CMV vaccine for almost three or four decades. The major reason for vaccines not working for CMV is that most of the previous vaccine formulation have tried to control the virus through a phenomenon we call antibodies alone. We've learned that actually antibodies alone are not sufficient. These viruses very cleverly hide in the, inside the cell and to kill that virus which is inside the cell you need killer T cells. This vaccine that we have designed has addressed that biggest sort of gap in that vaccine design. So you've now brought the two armies of the immune system into one formulation which will very efficiently induce the antibody responses but also the cellular response as well. We are actually establishing a collaboration with a US based pharma company who are going to help us to progress this program into a late stage clinical development. And our Institute of Medicine in US has identified CMV vaccine as one of the highest priority and it will impact on not just a few thousand but millions of people. It's great to see that there's a vaccine on the way. I'm really excited that, that you know, one day this won't have to happen to other families. Um, being in that situation ourselves, I wouldn't you know, wish that upon my worst enemy. Uh, if Australia can deliver something like this, it'll be a wonderful. It's a great, great achievement for, the, for Australia to deliver their you know, unique, innovative research to patient benefit.